prophets. And of those 2,424,000 prophets, they always have to be inheritors among people to invite people to that part of their lives that go beyond this life. We have to think, why am I here? Why am I here this time? Why am I actually hearing what I'm hearing? And if I'm hearing what I'm hearing, have I heard it before? And if I heard it before, how come I have not applied it in my life? Everyone, do you think that when Allah Almighty sent Suleiman alayhi salam and Suleiman alayhi salam he had a throne his throne was a heavenly throne all thrones are not heavenly thrones this was a heavenly throne in which Suleiman alayhi salam sat on and he could not have sat on that throne if Allah almighty had not trusted him Because when we sit, when Allah Almighty puts us on a heavenly throne, Allah is saying that He trusts us. Can we be trusted? We have to ask ourselves if we can be trusted. If we cannot be trusted, we must ask, why can't I be trusted? That Allah Almighty would put Suleiman on a throne. May Allah be pleased with him. To rule the earth, like the heavens are being ruled. He had jinn, he had men, he had angels working for him in building the kingdom of heaven on earth. Allah trusted him. But Allah Almighty has not stopped in bringing human beings into this world that come here with the attribute of Allah Almighty to be able to act on the behalf of Allah Almighty in a world that is not of us. And we are not of this world. But Allah Almighty, we can never control a world that we are a part of. The part of us that is not of this world. It's so much more superior than this world. And that's why Allah Almighty sent us here to bring it in submission to as in heaven on earth. But what happens when we come here? What happens when we come here? All we have to do is look around and look at our environment, look at our communities. Look at the current events. And look at all the decadence. Look at all the killings. Look at all the deception. Look at all the lying. All the murders. All the sadness. All the anger. That's of this world. We are not of this world. So why is it that we take on the personality of this world and our being and we spread the kingdom of hell when we should be spreading the kingdom of heaven? We are carriers of hell. First of all, in our homes and our schools and our mosques and our churches and our synagogues, we are carriers of hell. There's nowhere in the Quran, the Holy Scriptures, there's nowhere in the being of any of the prophets that came to humanity that had doubt. There was no maybe in their conversation. There was no if I could have, should have, would have in their conversation. When Allah Almighty gave them an order, they carried it out. They had the ability. When Allah Almighty sent Musa and Moses to get the people from Pharaoh, he said, free them. Get them out of the clutches of Pharaoh. 
He had no army. He had no weapons. He had a staff in his brother. But what did he really have? He had certainty of his Lord's favor with him in him. He trusted his Lord and his Lord trusted him. And the oneness of that was able to part the Red Sea and free the people that Allah Almighty had ordered him to free. Do you think that the Old Testament is the words of the ancients, tales of the ancients? This is what's mind-boggling to those people who have Iman and those people who don't have Iman, they, they cannot relate to each other. A person of certainty cannot relate to someone who has uncertainty because the people of certainty know that it is the certainty of Allah Almighty through them. But the people of uncertainty, they're not looking to Allah for certainty. They're looking to this world for certainty. This world is uncertain. It has a beginning and it has an end. It is always changing. Where we are now, having this sermon, may at one time was a forest. Maybe wild animals running through here. Maybe all the way back, maybe dinosaurs and all kind of creatures running through here. Maybe this was the depths of an ocean at one time. Or it could have been a mountain at one time. We lost our mentality. We no longer think. We only look for someone to give us a scripture. And we recite a scripture. Oh, that's my favorite scripture. Saying that scripture going to get me some money. Going to get me some honey. Going to get me some funny. That's the, 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 the extent in which we think when Allah Almighty is offering us a heavenly throne. A heavenly throne in which to rule by. Solomon had devils at his feet. Solomon Salam, was the authority. He didn't depend on no officials for anything. He didn't go to the voting box. He didn't have to rely on the banks for a doggone loan. He didn't have to worry about paying some construction people to build it and get a loan. He told the jinn, build. They built. He told them to go in the earth, dig out the gold and silver, give it to the people. They did that. The devil was at his command. Because Allah Almighty trusted him because he trusted in his Lord. He knew that his Lord created him. He knew the devil didn't create him. He knew his parents didn't create him, although he came to his parents. He knew no one created him but Allah Almighty, and that's where he looked to his loyalty to. That's where he looked for his sustenance from. Allah was sufficient for him. Allah asked him, he said, what you want? You want this world or you want wisdom? He said, I want wisdom. So Allah gave him the world, gave him wisdom and gave him this world. If he had said this world, Allah would have gave him this world and he wouldn't have had no wisdom. Then he would not have had a heavenly throne in which to have an authority over this world. That's where we miss the ball. That's where we fumble. And that's why there's no zeal among us. That's why we can't re 